Intensity wise, there's nothing like it. hit your marks going that fast on such a thin such a thin racetrack it's a, it's definitely a challenge for everybody involved just one slip up, you're one mistake away from you know, killing your whole week. You can only win Knoxville on Saturday night, but you can throw it away any night before that and anything leading up to that. You know, it's pretty much the baddest guy from every town and uh, you know, the competition level's high. The biggest race we run usually has got about a third this many cars. There's no race in the country that gets 100 cars plus. This race does. You don't get named the sprint car capital of the world for, for no reason. Um, this is a place where everybody comes in August, uh, the best of the best, um, and usually there's only, you only ever remember who wins, uh, second, third, fourth, doesn't really matter. This race is very tough and, and paying that much money to win and, and like you said, it's at Knoxville, there's nothing, nothing like winning and making that right turn off the scales. I'm gonna lose my mind not make it out this time I'm choking on every breath They tell you that life's not fair Well, it's not heaven I'm looking for But I can't take this mess no more If the water keeps rising high I won't make it out alive This is what you saved your lunch money for Night number one of the 360 Knoxville Nationals goes to green Turn number two, hey for keeping the slide advantage in the race off the turn, you've got a new leader! Traffic in front of him, but it's not gonna matter. He's going to victory lane at the Knoxville Raceway. Sam Haferty Jr. wins night number one of the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Our car is really good right now. Whenever you can come here and, and put it wherever you want, it, it definitely gives you that little bit of extra to race harder and make those certain moves and go three wide and, and just kind of do what you got to do. This is the 360 Nationals. It's the biggest 360 race there is, and uh, to be on the pole is pretty awesome. And, um, you know, if this. If we can uh, park in a victory lane tonight, that'd be something that uh, definitely we'd never forget. You know, at the end of the day, I'm just a sprint car racer. I don't know if it's Outlaw, 410, 360. I'm a, I've always been fortunate enough to be able to be a sprint car racer. And uh, tonight, I'm a 360 sprint car racer. And hopefully, we can, uh, you know, go, go for our first 360 Nationals. I'm happy to run 360 Nationals and, and be competitive in it. And, and hopefully, have a shot to win. The team prepares all year long for this event. And they do their job, but when you get in and you're, you're about to push from staging, it's completely up to you.
of a new leader for the moment right now. Geo sells, he found something up top, takes advantage of it, and then back down low, not going away just yet, could be side by side. Coming around turn four, off of four, drag race to the line, it goes to Pittman by a nose, but here comes Celsium one again. Darren Pittman by inches, Gio Selzy back on the cushion, Pittman may have just woke up here, he's getting the elbows out, don't take your eyes off the front of the field, the battle is on for the race lead. Yeah, Pittman knows he has to hold the bottom, it's going to be strong in turn number one and two, but Selzy's right there again, about a half a car length back, now goes to the top of Southern East Track, your race again for the lead turn number two, Selzy pulls alongside, the 39 of Axe, right away, a drag race, Brian in turn number three. Off of the turns three and four, Pittman again with the advantage on the bottom, Selzy, he's going to catch the middle at the exit of turn number four, they'll come around and you'll have a new race leader, Giovanni Selzy to the race lead with two to go. One mile to go, the Knox Bar is way over for Selzy in turn number two, he won his the night, late in the race as well, he's doing it again here tonight, this time by the white flag in the air, side by side, in the bottom, Selzy to the top side, white flag in the air, but at one final time. Selzy bobbled that time of the position and turns three and four. Darren Pittman's going to go back to the race lead. Pittman slides up across the racetrack. Selzy trying to turn it down. Battle for the race lead. Here comes Gio to the top spot. Giovanni Selzy back to the race lead. He'll try to use the lap car as a pick. Cannon hold. They'll work through turns three and four. $15,000 is going to 